Chris won. This is math class. Oh! oh my God. I'm Chris, and this is the IHOP. Here's a real-life example of the distance formula. Imagine the field goal is zero. And this is 10, negative 35. Oh! It's good! By plugging in our coordinate 00, zero which is the field goal, and 10, negative 35, where I kicked it, and the distance formula, square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is 36.4 yards. Say I take 10 free throws sitting down. I made 5 out of 10, so therefore I have a 50% chance of making the next shot. Money. Let's see if pros can do this. My name is Enrique and I will be explaining parabola through football. So say I'm standing 20 yards away from the trash can and I throw the ball up to 5 yards up in the air and that's directly in the trash can. So we already know our roots which are 10, 1 and negative 10, 1. And our axis of symmetry is 0 because we're calculating it from where the ball got to its highest point. And where the ball got to its highest point is also known as the vertex and y-intercept which is 5. Chris Brody, and today I will be showing you a problem on math on the baseball field. Alright, so imagine me standing on a baseball mound about 8 feet tall, because I am 6 feet tall, and the mound is approximately 2 feet tall, and I throw the ball crossing the plate at a height of about 3 feet. So we're going to take our points 
with our slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which we take our points, which would be 3 minus 8, the 3 from the height here, and the 8 from the height of the map, over 0 minus 60, because our 60 feet from home plate and 0 to the height. So we work this out equals negative 5 and negative 60. In turn, this becomes 112. But it's going to be negative because of the way it's going. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Save it. Wait, what am I supposed to be saying? <laughs> I told you. Save. And? Zero or ten one. I screwed up. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Stop okay, I'm not gonna laugh. Just imagine the field goal. Don't tell me what to do.